6.30 in the morning and my flight's not till 11ish and we're heading to the airport because my mom has to go to work. Here we go! updated you guys at all it's been a very chaotic over 24 hours um my flights went well i'll talk about that more in detail in like a review video probably but we are currently in iceland i already made some friends four of us were the first people that got here so when we got back to the hotel we checked our bags into like the locker area and then kind of explored a little bit we went to have breakfast right by the harbor i think they call it very pretty um, pretty bomb. They called it a sandwich, but it's like an open-faced kind of reminded me of just like toast with stuff on top. Um, very good. After that, we came back to the hotel, waited for the rest of the group because the majority of the people came at the same time. So, oh wait, wait. After breakfast, we walked around the town a little bit randomly, walking aimlessly. <laughs> Um, and it was nice, we saw a lot. And then we came back to the hotel, waited for everyone else, and then our tour guide took us on an official um, city walk. So, just to get us situated and so that we know our bearings and know how to get to the dinner tonight and all that. I have been up for over 24 hours and it's only 2.30 p.m. here. So, it's going to be a long day, night. Um, I definitely need a nap, so that's what I'm gonna try to do right now. I have a couple hours before our welcome dinner which is at six and it's like a five-ish minute walk from here so that'll be cool um everyone seems super nice and i'm so excited for this trip iceland is gorgeous um i'll show you guys the room right now it's kind of not gonna lie a weird setup but i'll show you right now watch so here's the door you walk in and there's the bathroom pretty standard kind of sad there's not a tub but I'm a tub girl. Here, this little sink area. This little closet type space. More area, TV. Okay, this is what's weird to me. It's two twin beds, but they're together. So there's two of us sharing this room, but we're basically sleeping on one queen bed, which is kind of weird to me. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. But my roommate is cool. Like. It shouldn't be an issue, but it's just kind of weird to me. I don't know. Used to hotels having two queen beds. Another thing is that there's no AC, and I know it's not hot here. I probably don't need it, but it's kind of warm right now. And this is outside, a view of some water construction. And the windows do open a tad bit, so we do get a little breeze, but it's a little toasty. And yeah, that is the room tour, guys. Yeah, so that's the room. Like I said, I'm gonna try to nap at least an hour, maybe two. I put an alarm for an hour from now. And then if I wake up and I'm like, dude, I'm still dead, I'll snooze it for another hour. Um, then I have to shower, get ready for our welcome dinner. I didn't bring anything fancy. Oh, well, I brought leather pants, but I don't think I'm gonna wear them. I'm just gonna wear jeans and a bodysuit to the welcome dinner. And... Yeah, I'm tired. See y'all later. 
Also, my roommate went to this little flea market thing that they have that's only open today and tomorrow. So she went down to check it out. So that means I have the room to myself and that is why I'm gonna nap real good. It's gonna hit different. It's gonna be a good one. I hope. I hope I fall asleep, guys. If I don't sleep, I really don't know how I'm gonna get through this. I'm the type of girl that needs at least eight hours of sleep at all times. But I'm running on zero right now and it's not a fun time. Update, I did not end up napping. I laid down though and hopefully <laughs> I don't die. I still have so many hours left. It's only 3.30 and our dinner's at six. And then my friends mentioned that they wanna go explore after, but I don't know how much energy I'll have at that point. We'll see. Um, yeah, so I laid down for a bit and then I got up and showered and changed because I felt grimy. And then I'm gonna meet up with my friends in a little bit. We're gonna possibly explore before dinner. And let's pray that I don't crash more than I already have. <laughs>
the jackies are waterproofed up. Yes, we yes, are. Yes, we are. <laughs> updating you guys but it is currently day three of our trip and yesterday was great we went to a waterfall a geyser and the tectonic plates so that was cool it was cool um to see so many things in one day uh, iceland is freaking beautiful we are we're having so much fun today we went to two waterfalls the glacier and something else but I can't remember and um our first waterfall was my freaking favorite so beautiful we got to go behind it I was soaked but luckily I brought the waterproof stuff so I was very prepared then the second waterfall we had to go up like 400 stairs to get to the top but it was worth it the view is great god I can't remember the third thing we did it was literally the last thing we did I can't remember that's gonna bother me but I'm going to make a review um, video on this trip when I get home, um, eventually. And we're all going into detail of the itinerary and what exactly we did and how it worked and all that stuff so that you guys get a better picture of it. But I have taken a lot of little clips, so I think the vlog is going to be more of a montage, like usual, you know. But yeah, now I'm going to go meet my friends for dinner. We've gotten a good solid like group of like I think it's like eight of us that are always together. Oh, I think it's like six. Um, we're gonna go get lobster soup, which is like an Icelandic dish, I guess, which I've been waiting to do. And then we're probably gonna go get some drinks. Kind of exhausted. I've been having a hard time sleeping. I don't know why. If it's just cause it's too bright, cause it's never nighttime here, or I'm just not used to sleeping, not in my own bed, but Definitely have been using the bus ride just to catch up on some sleep. But today should be fun. Tomorrow's our last day. It's gonna be more of a chill day. We have half a day of free time. Then we're going to the Blue Lagoon and then our farewell dinner. And then we're going to karaoke, to a karaoke bar that everyone's been recommending and I've seen a whole bunch. So yeah, that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. I hope this video is coming along okay. 
I guess we'll see when I get home. I don't know how much stuff I have. I don't know if my videos are even good. We'll see. Bye, guys. It is currently the morning of our last day. Last night, we went a little crazy. Um, I have the earliest flight out tomorrow, so I know that tonight I can't go as hard as everyone else. So last night was my night. And yeah, so we went to American Bar and yeah, had a few drinks. They were really, really good. Couldn't taste the alcohol, so that's why they were really dangerous. And then after that, we went and met our other friends that were at Jungle Bar across the street. Went there, had a drink. Then we went back to American Bar because they have this wheel that you can spin. And you win a couple beers or like shots and stuff. So I spun the wheel and I got a beer. But then my friend Jackie and I had a shot of tequila. Mixing all sorts of alcohol. But not feeling terrible right now. So that's good. It took an Advil for my headache. But other than that, we're good. Today's Blue Lagoon Day, guys. We had a half a day. To do whatever the heck we wanted so a few friends and i are going to go shop for souvenirs and go up to the big church and see if we can go up and have a look at the view and then make it back in time to meet our other friends for lunch and then head to go get covid tested and to the blue lagoon so yeah see you guys <laughs> 